Yo, what's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at the best DMFs for all budgets. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Let's crack on. This has been the most requested position I would say by now. And we first have our budget option for 14,000 GP. Now the thing about this guy is lads, I'm going to let you just check out this guy yourself because his stats are really really nice he's super cheap he's got a wavering form but his player skills are extraordinary for an anchorman this cheap so check him out i'm not even going to go into details with him i'm just going to tease you with him we do have also shuamene so these aren't really in an order lads these aren't in a particular order because it depends on your budget and it also depends on whether or not you guys are going to want to splash the cash right on players that cost like a hundred thousand gp there is no real um massive point in having a player that's super cheap because gp is so easy to get so it is just a mixture of brilliant players and also we have ugarte in here as well who's kind of similar to shuamene both do similar roles you will have to decide if you've missed my other video check out my destroyer versus anchorman video and i also have a defensive tutorial check out which works best for you if you're going to be using an anchorman it's going to be a sit back kind of player or else you're going to be using a kind of box to box destroyer disruptor getting across the pitch getting around the pitch but that guy for 70 grand is pretty decent we also have this hidden gem not so much a hidden gem he's been known about for a while in eFootball 23 but if you are a newcomer we'll take a couple of quick little looks at his stats here i will have training guides here starting from the next option which is casemiro this guy starts off at a 77 dmf overall as a, a destroyer 47,000 gp on wavering form and brilliant player skills as well and then we have casemiro so casemiro is probably down a little bit on the list even though as i said this isn't in a ranking order so to speak it just depends on how you view it i would say casemiro is probably top three or four in the game but I do think that the guys ahead of him are better. Now, when we do actually have a look at his training here, for 180,000 GP, you are getting a lot of bang for your buck as a DMF anchorman. Uh, he's got, you know, everything in the defense. He's got really, really good passing ability for a DMF that's going to be just disrupting the ball. And this is the same that can be said about Declan Rice. So they're kind of similar players, right? So there's no real difference apart from 10,000 GP here in terms of Declan Rice versus Casemiro. Obviously, Casemiro is a different play style. And it depends how you set up your squad, so it's not going to be really that much of a difference. But again, you have to see here with Declan Rice, you've got that offensive awareness, you've got the tackling, aggression, and engagement, and then, of course, you do have 90 stamina, which is kind of the selling point with this card. I like Declan Rice, but I do prefer his anchorman playstyle card. I just seem to find that he plays better for me. If you've missed out on that, I would definitely take a look at another anchorman that's going to be coming up in just a few minutes. But up next, we do have Zakaria. So this guy's kind of bounced around a couple of uh, a couple of clubs. He's only 47,000 since the eFootball 2024 update, and he does have some brilliant stats. Now, he doesn't have unwavering form, which is not is is a small bit of an issue, but it's not a game breaker, I suppose. Um, but he has got blocker interception, man marking. And as I said before, you do have to make a decision whether you want to have kind of like an anchorman. An anchorman definitely needs blocker. So this guy is a, is a must if you're looking to have a, a brilliant player under 50,000 GP. And as you can see here, how we train him up, we're not going to be using him really as an anchorman apart from his aggression and tackling we're going to use him as his pace his acceleration so he's kind of a unique player similar to makalele he's going to have 80 acceleration and 88 speed we have to bring the stamina up because of that role that he's playing instead of sitting there if you're looking for a sitting anchorman we do have rodri so rodri is a fantastic player you can see the stats there and we're also going to show you with rodri what he boots up to right so rodri i would say is probably the best pound for pound dmf in the game he's the easiest to use he's the easiest to train up pretty much all you have to do lads is you know pop in 15 into defending depending on how you are how good you are defensively rodri will literally do everything for you now the big downside to rodri is his lack of pace right and that's why i have one more one more top of the pops top of the ranking here even though i said they're not there's a ranking my most suggested player is barrios he has been an absolute beast for the last couple of seasons in eFootball. he does not have a club in the game but he is with the colombia national team so he's in the game here he look, just look at his stats man right straight off the rip 71 acceleration with 80 stamina very high defensive stats and he can play as a CB, a CMF, or a DMF, which is very unique, and a right back. He's got every single defensive stat and skill you could possibly want, including double touch and one touch pass going forward. It's an insane card. 
And look what he trains up to. He's only 51,000 GP as well. Look at this if you train him up to be just a sitting anchorman. You still have pace. You still have power. You still have speed and stamina. You have acceleration. You've got low pass and tight possession at 75 apiece. If you are starting off, right, if you are starting off, I would say that the two main positions to upgrade first are a DMF and a center forward. If you get Barrios for 51,000 GP, you will have him until at least Division 2, I reckon, until you need to kind of maybe in, invest a bit. But he can bring you to Division 1, lads. He's absolutely insane. So that is it for my DMFs. As I said, it's a very big point, um, whether you want an anchorman or a destroyer to play that DMF role. But let me know what you guys think of these picks and any suggestions that you have. I will be doing another Hidden Gem series on this. So if you missed it on this one, don't forget to get in touch. Hope you subscribe. Peace.